Hello everyone, welcome to Retrofy. As you know, new Resident Evil 3 trailer drop, so I wanna make analysis of it. But first of all, I wanna talk about there won't be mercenaries and there won't be several finals in Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3 there were only two finals. One final was very was in the chopper and other final was Carlos in the chopper and of course it was very good to see Barry but it wasn't like a game changer final it wasn't something mm, affect the game so much I just hope Capcom doesn't rid of the decisions because as you know decisions like enter RPD or fight with the monster or use the light against Nemesis or throw him out of bridge I don't know there were so many decisions make the game a huge replay value and also it was very interesting to discover it and it was so excited to make decisions you know you see the message and you're so scared you're so afraid you make panic you don't know which decision to choose it was so crazy and I hope removing several endings doesn't mean removing decisions because removing decisions will be a huge mistake but seeing how A and B scenario played in Resident Evil 2, how they messed up so much that they don't even match each other, I think they will remove decisions and this is really bad. So first of all, let's analyze the trailer. <laughs> let's go. Come on! I see like Nemesis um, has a mask. Yeah, he he definitely has a mask. So I guess it burn out later to her to his new form. Oh my god. <laughs> this this is similar to Mr. X animation, but more brutal, you know. He catch her from the head. <laughs> We even has the this tentacle animation. Yeah. To catch her from the leg. Wow. <laughs> and her hair physics looks amazing. Take it easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Carlos. I'm saving. Something yeah, he drops a rocket launcher. So Maybe this could be like the scene of Clock Tower when Carlos come to save Jill when Jill was infected. I'm not sure. Okay, Carlos say I'm saving you and Jill can be like, no bro, I'm a fighter. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Wow. I mean, except his ugly nose, you know, he knows this is looking really amazing. This is looking so good. So his mask burn out. Well, obviously they are entering RPD. And looks like we have a extra story here. Carlos' uh, scenario will be expand. Come say it, it will be longer and there will be some changes. So Let's see how much story time Carlos will have. This city is completely cut off, isolated. We need help. My men cannot do this alone. Well, it's really nice to see survivors because in the first game, I think due to the limitation of the engine, limitation of the game, we had in survivors, we barely had Dario and Dario's daughter, I think it was Dario his name. And now here we see survivors, it has more sense. So I like this way the game is taken. And you know, people who play Resident Evil 3 know what will happen to this train. <laughs> and probably it will happen. So Mikhail asking help to Jill. That's understandable, like in original. And Mikhail is the good guy, and Carlos is the good guy, so nothing changed. And I want Nicola is the same asshole he is. <laughs> the town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. So this could be um, 
Carlos in hospital, maybe, you know, Carlos is the part in hospital. Maybe they didn't change it. It could be the same. And Jill? I see Jill section uh, on Raccoon City streets like original. There are lots of street sections. Oh my lord, the Hunter. The Hunter. I really, really hope they had a deadly strike. And I see like his right, his, his left arm is bigger, like a little bit more deformed. Maybe it's the hand. We will have a deadly strike coming. And this this looks like a hospital, seriously. Like Carlos campaign. Why is she here? She's unreliable. It's me he's after. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait! Wait, Joe! Yeah, Nicola is the same dick as he is. <laughs> nice job, Capcom. Jill, Jill. You can see. Nemesis is coming like, hello. And this looks like the metro station. So I assume the train they take in the previous game. Now is in a metro station. And I think they will take a metro or something. Oh my lord, he got a flamethrower, guys, he got a flamethrower. Nemesis look more terrifying than ever. Come in! <laughs> Did you recognize the sound? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. This is the sound from the beginning, the soundtrack beginning of uh, Resident Evil 3. So I think they are keeping the original soundtrack. And Jill is really crazy, <laughs> crazy to drive over Nemesis, oh god. And I think I, I saw a clock tower here. This looked like a clock tower to me. So let's look at the new screenshots Capcom shared it. And I found them in Biohazard Friends because in Capcom's website, most of screenshots wasn't there. I don't know why. We get the new look to to our characters it's like new render and that's Dario for sure <laughs> okay the first second shot we have the hunter and as I say the left hand is much more deformed and much different this will be in the hospital this we already saw it is Brad so yeah the good guys Mikhail, Carlos and this guy I forget his name all the time they're on the train station. I, th I think it's a metro station and it can make more sense. And we have a poster on the background, Stalker. So I think it's representing Nemesis. There was a scene in hospital. Uh, Nicola shot this guy, I think. This could be the hospital. Our Umbrella's laboratory. Nikolai. Yeah, this is definitely a metro station. Wow. Nemesis look more terrifying than ever. Oh god, he has his rocket back. He will upgrade his weapons and I hope this can be some kind of decision based too. Wow, this, this shot is crazy and I think he got a laser on his rocket. So maybe we can know where he will shoot and we can dodge it. That's, that's crazy. And this guy I think uh, a guy Nikolai kill. I seen in Resident Evil 3. I don't remember so much who is this guy. And we got Mikhail. Oh god, Mikhail. 
I think Mikael will die equally. He got an injury. And this will be a death scene, probably. Like when you are with Birkin, you use a defensive item, and probably this is a death scene that you need to use a defensive item or something. Yeah, definitely a metro station. Nice idea, Capcom. She look really pretty, but I can't stop thinking she look like Mila. <laughs> I would like she look more like Jill. <laughs> and this could be Sivers. I don't remember a Sivers section. Uh, actually, there were with a warm fight, but it wasn't a huge section in Resident Evil 3. So probably there will be Sivers here. And Dario. <laughs> oh, this guy had, was so funny in the Resident Evil 3 original. And I see Capcom is using more bright colors this time than washed out with green filter in Resident Evil 2. And the game will be more action oriented. I'm feel scared by this, but I think Nemesis will terrify all of us. <laughs> Entering RPD. I think that's the restaurant we enter with Carlos in the original game, and this could be the boutique shop that we could change outfits of uh, Jill. It could be interesting if you could enter the boutique shop to check some clothes for her. And this could be maybe when they meet Nemesis, you know, in the original uh, Mikhail and Cla Mikhail and Jill had a moment with Nemesis and Mikhail is a grenade. Jill, Jill can't choose to fight, but anyway, she has to go. I think it could be this scene. Yeah, that's crazy, that's, that's incredible, Capcom is remaking this game, I can't still believe it. This is definitely looking like the hospital. I'm really glad they are keeping the original locations for under Resident Evil 3. This could be another deadly strike and you know he was using some parasites and worms inside her mode and I hope they will keep this dead animation. I think this is grabbing animation. You know, Mr. X grabs you from your your stomach and he throws you. Nemesis looks like he will grab you from your head. <laughs> like, come here, child. <laughs> and I see his squad getting more and more and more broken and revealing more and more of him. So I imagine the final form of Nemesis will be that his coat will totally fall. Maybe he will have tentacles everywhere like in the original and then the final form comes in and he will be totally deformed. I'm so impatient for Resident Evil 3 Remake. I just can't wait guys. So thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.